You're looking right at me? Jesus Christ. He didn't say he's gonna arrest me afterwards. Is he allowed to do that? Uh, there's a new sheriff in town. And it's me. Ladies and gentlemen, I am dressed like this today because we are playing Shadows of Doubt. Oh, okay, what'd you do? Oh, interesting, okay. What's your, what's your name? Oh, you don't want to tell me. Oh, okay, all right. All right, starting out here, we're gonna do a new game. We'll do Sandbox of the brand new city, Tygo Thompson, Detective Dog Booties. I guess we'll go with the skin color. I might be a little bit even whiter, for being completely honest. Editor, put, put me up next to the thing. I'm the editor, by the way. Would you like to enable the tutorial? Who do these guys think I am? Okay. Got our own little city here. Late 20th century. Hyper-industrialization has swept the planet. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States and the first elected megacorporation president in history, Starch Cola. The music goes pretty good. As sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. Okay. Workers dream of escaping the fields. An exclusive retirement district few will ever see. Rival corporations vie for power, policed by the privatized starch cola enforcers. Some say justice now only exists in the shadows. Oh, that's me. That's me. I'm the justice. I've got the... I have like a police hat on, but we're not police today. We're a detective. 6 p.m. Monday, January 2nd. We've got a water droplet, the Aperture Science logo, and a lightning bolt. I think, I think that means we're good. Nice little cumbird. So I did play the tutorial when I was testing out the game to make sure it worked. And I know that uh, right now we have no jobs. So I believe we want to go to City Hall, which I think is this spot right here, actually. Hey, did you read Echelon game? No. Why is that the first thing you say to me? Okay, well, I'm a new detective, so I'd like some detective advice. Excuse me? For what crime? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me, ma'am? You, would you like to be arrested? There's a threat on a police officer. Yeah, okay. I would, I would keep typing too. What's your name? Oh my God, keep your nose out of my business. This, this lady threatens me and then tells me to fuck off. Hmm. We could arrest her. We could arrest her. We could arrest her. All right, this lady, I hate her. There is a job board. I think this is the main way you kind of conduct the, the game here. So work available, public humiliation, no questions asked, no questions answered. What the fuck, bro? I think this is for like sex workers, not for detective. Public humiliation kink, but also $700 is $700. $20 is $20, bro. There's a lot of money for a quick little, you know, public humiliation. Discreet individual photography skills required. Well, we don't have a camera. Can you help? I have horrible suspicions my partner's cheating. They often come home late without a good reason. I need something I can confront them with. A fee of $900 to anyone with information. Highly respectable and influential corporate client seeks skilled investigator to look into a business concern. Experience and evidence collection needed. 1850. Another public humiliation. Should we just like step on guys? Should we just like put our high heels on dudes' chests for money? I feel like I'm on the wrong website to be doing that. Ask staff for a rye. I'm supposed to give you this. It's a foot photograph of where a briefcase is hidden. It'll give you the information on your target. I don't want anything to do with this. Bro, me neither, honestly, but I'm broke. There it is, okay. Pin that, definitely pin that. So if you guys haven't played Shadows of Doubt before, you're a detective. This right here is the case board. So you can, uh, you know, open up your case and then you can connect things down here underneath that are related. So this picture is related to the job. And then if you want to, you can create a link between the two, I believe. There we go, that's how you do it. Employee gave us this. So now I know that I accepted this job. The employee gave me this picture. It's on Lambert Street. So you can search for Lambert Street. You can put it in your destination, plot route. We can just walk on over there. Whoa, 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 okay, 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 okay. That's a bad start, that's a bad start. Holy shit, I did not realize, uh, well, how the, f the arrow is, fucked up. The arrow's telling me I have to go this way. This place is a... I'm not allowed in here. I had to break into somewhere just to get a briefcase? Is this a joke? Lambert Street's right out this door, huh? The arrow's telling me to go this way. What, what the fuck is this hallway? What is this hallway, actually? A reported murder? 
Oh, new murder case, huh? Uh, that's a cool game, thanks. But right now I'm kind of supplying fetishes. Right now I'm being hired as a professional fetish doer. Oh yeah, this looks like it. Let me pull my picture. This is perfect. There's a briefcase here, right? That's what they said. I can promise you that's not a briefcase. Why is everyone pissed that I moved their barrel? I'm so sorry. Oh, here's the briefcase. Okay. So now we have a briefcase in our inventory, which uh, everyone knows you pull out by pressing briefcase. What is going on here? Briefcase. Okay. I've got it. Let's open it up. Identify the perp. Put down. I don't get it. Oh, I guess we have the information now. Okay. So we are looking for an unknown citizen who is short, has brown hair. They're a police officer, and they're asking me to, like, illegally step on their cock. They're interested in sports, and they work at the Omega Enforcer Division. So we're looking for this guy to step on his cock. We came here to get the briefcase. He works here. We want to go to the, the third floor. Okay, third floor. Oh, wait. Throw some food in the face of the target? I don't have any food. Do they sell food here? I guess we have to find out who it is first. Brown hair. Maybe this is their computer. Omega, the Fort Enforcer Division. Okay. This guy didn't give me his password. You want me to find out who you are without, like, what do you mean? Okay. I'll be taking that. Everything's free game here. Everyone knows you can steal from the police. Oh, shit. Who chucked that chair? Oh! Employee photo. Johan Olofsson. Not who we're looking for. Elaine Schuler. Not who we're looking for. Linda Etienne. Not who we're looking for. Not who we're looking for. Aha, 1924. Elaine Schuler, you idiot. Simple, you put in her birth year. Roasted. Employee database, we're so in. Oh, what the fuck, bro? You can't just search by short hair? Okay, I have a feeling I'm in the wrong uh, room. Okay, I knock and this person's coming from behind me to answer the door, huh? Whoa, what the hell? Bro, what did what did the other cops do? This cop's about to arrest a cop? Uh Okay. What's your name? Don't cops like have to tell you their name legally or something? Like show me your badge. Dead end number one? An asshole? Oh, they're picking up the chair. They're picking up the chair from earlier. Oh, we're so in. Start with the light switch, that's a good start. What the hell? Employee details. Yes, yes. DeMarco Warren. Signature D. Warren. What, what kind of writing type is this? How do I know what kind of writing type? We know the writing type of our guy. We have a sample. See, look. We know... Oh, not DeMarco. Wait. Oh my god, this is him. We know his, we know his name. His name is DeMarco Warren. This is him. DeMarco Warren. Several reports of them flirting with other employees. Has a strong work ethic. Always conversing about sports. This is the guy. Okay, now what? This is what he looks like? Is this a joke? What do you mean this is what he looks like? How have we not identified the perp? Step one's identify the perp. I've just identified him. DeMarco Warren. That's him right there. Oh, identify the perp. DeMarco Warren. That's him. How are we going to find out which one is DeMarco Warren? They all look the same. There's one other one. Leo Fremont. Leo Fremont is also dressed like this, but DeMarco has like a black sweater on or something this guy has like a brown sweater okay so do not hit this guy no no no! don't answer the door don't answer that door don't answer that door uh oh leo vermont leo vermont it's not you am i allowed in here Woo, okay all right what time is it when does uh when does demarco come into work he works right now he works 18 to 6 30 excuse me demarco why are you not at work oh my god Bro, please don't tell me this is his desk. Oh, you're joking. Oh my god. Oh. It's not his desk. We're okay. I should not be in here, bro. Where is DeMarco? This is Jane, right? I mean, I guess I know where he lives. Is that public, though? Is it public humiliation if I put a banana in his face while he's, like, at home? Is that public humiliation? I don't even have, like, a banana yet. Where do I get a banana from? Who are you? DeMarco? Oh my god, it's DeMarco! It's DeMarco! I need a banana. Or something. Lady, do you have a banana, please? What is this? Coffee? Does coffee count? Is food? That's kind of fucked up, actually. Throw a hot coffee in his face? That's not food. What is this? 
Vending machine. Vending machine. Throw cigarettes in his face. They only sell cigarettes, cigars, and matchbooks. Our mints of food. Often consumed as a meal. Would love that for me. DeMarco, come back here. DeMarco! DeMarco, what the fuck are you doing? You're not you're not sitting on your chair, DeMarco. Okay, here's what we do. We close this door. We knock. Okay, then quickly equip the mints. It's not DeMarco, bro. Go away. Go away, Leo. I want to talk to DeMarco. Okay, here's what we do. Close this. We get him on this side. It can't possibly be Leo again. You're joking. Leo can't answer both doors. Come on. DeMarco, I'm begging you, bro. DeMarco, please. I mean, I'll do it. I'll just talk to him. I'll get arrested. Come here, DeMarco. Oh, you're toasted. You're toasted. Let me get the mints out. DeMarco, you're looking here, right? You're looking right at me? Jesus Christ. He didn't say he's gonna arrest me afterwards. Is he allowed to do that? You can't- you can't hire me to throw food at you and then try to arrest me. We live in a fucked up world, man. Resolve? We- we've done it. What did it say? Call somebody? Call 874-0637. It cost me a dollar to call this guy. Oh, it's public humiliating someone else. Someone who doesn't like him paid me. That's why he shot me. I thought they. I thought this was like a fetish. Well, that's risky business right there. Whoa, what is that on the right? Do I have to solve eight cases to beat the game? I mean, I'm pretty proud of that. That's one down.